गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम स्क्रीन दिख रही है स्टार्ट द सेशन ओके या सो यस्टरडे हम लोगों ने ट्रीटमेंट तक देखा था राइट हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट सो बेसिकली ट्रीटमेंट इज वेरी फ्रॉम डिसीज टू डिसीज ओके सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द डिसीज सो ऑल्सो ट्रीटमेंट इज वेरी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कॉज ऑफ द किडनी डिसऑर्डर बट द मेन गोल ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट इज टू ट्रीट द अंडरलाइन कंडीशन मिनिमाइज द किडनी डिसफंक्शन कंट्रोल द सिम्टम्स प्रिवेंट एंड प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ द किडनी डिसीज टू द एक्सटेंट पॉसिबल because uh, for example in cases of the kidney failure so chronic kidney failure so already kidney is uh, kidney is fail kidney is unable to filter the blood unable to filter the uh, waste material so in that condition also we have to uh, prevent the further progression so that the life expectancy of the patient we have to increase okay so that the treatment part is also vary i am audible right Yes, okay. Good. So in the kidney disorder also, one of the prevention is you have to tell the patient to monitor their di uh, diabetes and even the hypertension. So uh, they have to check the blood pressure and the sugar level in a daily basis. Daily basis means in a one one month or the in a sequence of the two or three months. So they have to check it regularly and with the dietary measure. so mainly when we talked about the medical management so there is a pharmacological therapy non pharmacological non pharmacological therapy then the surgery the dialysis okay so pharmacological ther therapy mein generally they prescribe the calcium carbonate or the calcium acetate to treat the hyper uh, hyper uh, phosphatemia and the hypocalcemia then the diazepam and or the phenyltoin these are the drug they used to prescribe in cases of the kidney injury or the acute kidney failure which be anti hypertensive and the cv drugs like digoxin or the dobutamine i am giving you the just to example okay why they are prescribing this drug or there are there are multiple type of the drugs they used to prescribe but it also vary from kidney disorder to kidney disorder for example diazepam they used to give in cases of the cd2 so if there is a severe pain so they may prescribe the diazepam or the uh, phenyltoin okay then the erythropoietin generally to treat the anemia it is seen that many type of the kidney diseases the patients may suffer from the anemia so myoglobin level and the hemoglobin level has automatically decreased in cases of the kidney disease so to treat that condition we have to give the erythropoietin type of the drug treatment for the edema so angiotensin converting enzyme or the inhibitor and the diuretic prescribed it can manage the edema also and the chf and to increase the urine output then the ace inhibitor so which are the ace that is the angiotensin converting enzyme these are some drugs they prescribe in cases of the as a diuretic or the angiotensin converting enzyme like captopril enalpril lisinopril or the posinopril okay there are other drugs also so these are the pharmacological therapy it also vary or it's also depend on the kidney disease okay then the nutritional therapy generally we told the patient to take a low sodium diet low potassium diet also low protein diet so diet is also essential third is the correct the fluid and the electrolytes so if the patient having a high sodium level so you you have to give him the you have to correct that fluid and electrolyte okay and the dialysis 
and that one of the renal uh, replacement therapy so when we talked about the renal replacement therapy what are the different indication for the renal replacement therapy so if the patient having a pericarditis encephalopathy if there is a intractable muscle cramping anorexia nausea then the evidence of the malnutrition fluid and the electrolyte abnormality principally hypercalcemia and are the refracted to the other major so patients having a chronic uh, renal failure or the acute renal failure they may show these type of the symptoms so anorexia nausea malnutrition fluid and electrolyte abnormality in that condition we generally go for the renal replacement therapy if patient is not manageable by the pharmacological method so renal replacement therapy may these these are the two types one is the dialysis another is the kidney transplant okay dialysis is also one two types hemodialysis and the peritoneal dialysis in kidney transplantation kidney transplant can be done by the living donor or the deceased donor okay so we will see about the dialysis so what is exactly the dialysis procedure so dialysis procedure generally we use to correct the fluid and the electrolyte imbalance and to remove the waste product in renal failure so dialysis generally do only cases of the renal failure so chronic renal failure where the kidney is not able to filter the waste product also the field not filter not able to filter the blood so in that condition we have to keep the patient on the dialysis to increase his uh, life expectancy otherwise if we don't go for the dialysis patient may die immediately or patient may die one one or the two months okay so what dialysis do dialysis waste removal fluid removal also the blood do not generally dialysis do not correct the endocrine function of the kidney okay hence dialysis is not a cure for the kidney failure so dialysis is one of the treatment where we can increase the expectancy of uh, life of the patient but it is not for the cure of the kidney failure because once a kidney fail it is like you have to go for the transplantation otherwise you have to go for the dialysis at least to jo life hai patient ki wo increase karne ke liye okay so what are the goal for the dialysis so dialysis remove the both low and the high molecular weight solute doses of the dialysis is derived of the fraction urea clearance during a single dialysis treatment it deliver the dose of the dialysis is consider as quality assurance and the measurement tool okay but also the dose is vary from the individual to individual so we have to measure the blood pressure we have to consider the age of the patient we have to consider the weight of the patient even the pulse temperature okay so these the doses also vary from person to person okay for the majority of 9 to 12 hour of the dialysis each week divided into the three equal sessions are required Okay, but it also vary from person to person as i say even the how much session the person needed is also dependent on how much kidney is fail or what's the age of the patient so age blood pressure temperature pulse these also depend on that all condition okay so as i said dialysis ke do types hai one is the hemodialysis or the peritoneal dialysis so either if the patient is having a kidney failure then patient may go for the hemodialysis or patient may go for the peritoneal dialysis so what are the indication of the hemodialysis and the peritoneal dialysis so generally hemodialysis where fluid overload but not responding to the diuretics there is uremic convulsion persistent dyspnea vomiting restlessness sign of pericarditis there is pericardial infusion also where is peritoneal dialysis when hemodialysis is not possible due to lack of vascular uh, vascular access or in cases of the small children hypotension unstable cardiovascular and the respiratory status so if the patient having uh, some cardiac disease or in cases of the children generally we go for the peritoneal dialysis so patient willingness motivation and ability to perform the dialysis at home 
generally peritoneal dialysis uh, you can give the patient at the home only okay with the proper instrument and all it also given in the opd basis but in hemodialysis you have to go for the uh, opd or the hospitalization we required a proper proper monitor proper uh, surgeon proper doctor to treat the to give the even the hemodialysis even the peritoneal dialysis so how long does the hemodialysis take so generally hemodialysis usually done three times a week okay so each treatment it lasts for the 2 to 4 hours so during the treatment patient can be write sleep talk or watch the tv during the hemodialysis so hemo so generally hemodialysis when we talked about the hemo simply means the blood okay dialysis means to pass through so what hemodialysis do the hemodialysis it remove the nitrogenous waste product excess fluid and electrolyte from the blood by means of the artificial kidney so artificial kidney it's a dialyzer okay hum log dekhenge yaar what is dialyzer so nearly 90% of the all the dialysis patient receive the hemodialysis there are peritoneal dialysis it remove the nitrogenous waste product excess fluid and the electrolyte from the blood by means of peritoneal membrane okay here in hemodialysis we use the artificial kidney artificial kidney we use the dialyzer whereas here peritoneal dialysis the same work they do but it uh, the all the blood by means of peritoneal membrane they remove okay and approximately 10 to 15% are receive the peritoneal dialysis in a western country generally they go for the peritoneal dialysis but in india we generally go for the hemodialysis okay so it's about 90% of the all the patient is receive the hemodialysis ye samajh mein aa raha hai ya nahi samajh mein aa raha hai समझ में आ रहा है मैम ओके कुछ भी कंफ्यूजन हो के राइट डाउन योर क्वेश्चन ऑन अ चैट बॉक्स सो हीमोडायलिसिस में क्या करते हैं सो वी ऑल नो द हीमोडायलिसिस में फिल्टर करते हैं वेस्ट सॉल्ट सॉल्ट फ्लूइड फ्रॉम योर ब्लड ओके बिकॉज किडनी इज नो लॉन्गर हेल्दी इनफ टू डू द वर्क सो इट्स अ वन वे टू ट्रीट द एडवांस किडनी फेलियर एंड कैन हेल्प टू कैरी ऑन द एक्टिव लाइफ it can help the body to control the blood pressure and maintain the proper balance of the fluid and the various minerals such as potassium sodium so normally hemodialysis begins well before your kidney have shut down to the point of causing the life threatening complication so see this is the hemodialysis okay these are the two tube okay generally there are three points so these are the dialyzer okay these work as a artificial kidney so what happened so two tubes are inserted into into your arm okay through the access site so there are three type of the access site hum log dekhenge access site kaun se kaun si hai okay so there are three type of the access site but the two tube are inserted into these so what they do each needle is attached to the flexible plastic tube okay and and they connect it to the dialyzer so these are the dialyzer this tube you can see this is one tube and this is the second tube they are attached to the dialyzer one tube one tube kya karti hai ki the dialyzer filter your blood and allowing the waste and extra fluid to pass through your blood into the cleaning fluid and other other uh, other jo tube hai that filter the blood return to the body to the second tube See, this is the dialyzer fluid which remove. This is the dialyzer fluid which in. Okay, this is the inflow pressure monitor. So how much blood is going or how much uh, clean blood is returning to the body? There are. This is blood removed from the cleaning. Okay, and blood pump here, inflow the pressure monitor, and where is the dialyzer fluid removed? in this method they do the hemodialysis okay see this is the dialyzer ye jo hai na 
that we talked about the uh, work as the artificial kidney it's a dialyzer so what dialyzer do to see there is a two point here one and the two where is one is the blood in and other is the blood out see so dialyzer we also called as the hollow fiber artificial kidney which contain the thousand of tiny tubules that act as the semi permeable membrane okay so the blood flow through the tubules while a solution that is the dialyzer circulate around the tubules so exchange of the waste from the blood to the dialyzer occur through the semi permeable membrane of the tubules blood flow in one direction and the dilator flow in the opposite direction so this dialyzer work as a artificial kidney ek tube se blood jo uh, improper in pure blood hai ya waste material hai blood mein se wo yahan pe jata hai and another wo purify ho ke yahan se then ye jo tube hai yahan se then apne body mein phir se jata hai okay so when we hemodialysis ka preparation kaise karte hai so it start from several week to the month then it can allow the easy access to your blood stream a surgeon will create a vascular access so as i said ki there are three type of the vascular access so that access provide a mechanism for a small amount of blood to be safely removed from your circulation and then return to your older into the hemodialysis process to work okay so there are three type of the access which are they one is the arteriovenous fistula av graft or the central venous catheter so ये जो दिख रहा है ये ओके टू एक्सेस दैट दैट टू ट्यूब्यूज यू हैव टू एक्सेस दैट सो दे डू दी थ्री टाइप ऑफ द एक्सेस सो एक्सेस कैसे करते हैं आई दर एट्रो मेनस फिस्टूला सो व्हाट दे डू इन ए बी फिस्टूला ए बी फिस्टूला इज अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन द आर्टरी एंड द वेन ओके यूजुअली इन द आर्म दे यूज एंड दिस इज प्रीफर्ड टाइप ऑफ द एक्सेस बिकॉज इट इज इफेक्टिवनेस एंड द सेफ अनदर इज द ए बी ग्राफ्ट so if your blood vessels are too small to form the av fistula the surgeon may instead create a path between an artery and the vein using a flexible synthetic tube which is called as a graft another is the central venous catheter if in cases of the emergency hemodialysis a plastic tube or catheter may be inserted into your large vein to your neck and near your groin okay so the catheter is also temporary but they do the central venous central venous fistula generally commonly av fistula is used okay so gen uh, arteriovenous fistula may generally they use the radial artery to the basilic vein okay they do the av fistula and then blood is uh, transferred into one tube and another tube may blood jo hai refresh hoke aata hai ye samajh mein aaya कि हाउ हिमोडायलिसिस वर्क हेलो यस मैम एनी कंफ्यूजन किसी को कुछ क्वेश्चन है इन हिमोडायलिसिस मैम ये फिस्टुलर ग्राफ्ट ये जो इनसाइड करते हैं या आउटसाइड होता है आउटसाइड outside yeah. see the 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 image this is 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 okay one 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 artery artery they use one is the artery, one is the vein okay so इसके complications भी होते हैं okay so uh, for example ये जो अगर procedure हो गया okay so it may also take a time from 1 hour to the 2 hours or from 45 minutes to 1 hour but uh, it also depend on the age sex also the temperature blood pressure uh, weight of the patient okay so ye ye procedure karne ke baad for example agar koi person ka kidney failure ho gaya hai and ye procedure kar raha hai wo patient ko bola hai ki you have to be uh, hemodialysis karna hai week mein teen baar okay सो पेशेंट हॉस्पिटल जा रहा है ये प्रोसीजर कर रहा है वन आवर में एक वन आवर में ये प्रोसीजर हो गया पेशेंट का देन यहाँ पे हम लोग जैसे ब्लड निकालने के बाद हम लोग एक प्रेशर लगा के ये लगाते राइट प्रेशर लगा के हम लोग एक ट्यूब लगाते हैं एंड देन वी रैपिड 
same way here also the rapid okay but what happen in certain condition it also cause a infection okay so these are one of the complication because there are the current thing happening so ek hand mein agar ek bar kiya then second hand mein they do again then third hand mein again right hand and left hand they use that so uski wajah se ye jo uh, skin pe jo mark pad jata hai uski wo site jo hai wo infection ke mein bhi turn ho sakte hai so sepsis ke chances bhi hemodialysis mein zyada hote hain another complications hypotension so 25 to 60 percent treatment session may patient may go into the hypotension even the cardiac arrhythmia so 5 to 60 percent in cases of cardiac arrhythmia bhi hota hai cramps nausea vomiting headache back pain chest pain itching fever these are the other complication during the dialysis okay another is the peritoneal dialysis okay these are uh, hemodialysis is one of the type of dialysis another type is the peritoneal dialysis so what they do in peritoneal dialysis they use the thin lining of the abdomen which called the peritoneum okay as a filter we all know our abdomen is covered by the peritoneum level so they use that thin lining of the abdomen so using treatment a cleansing fluid which called as the dialyzer is cycled into the patient abdomen through a small flexible tube which called as a peritoneal catheter okay so whatever the dilator they absorb or pull the extra waste flu and fluid from the blood vessel in the abdominal lining into the peritoneal cavity where it stays in the abdomen for a specific amount of time that specific amount of time is called as the dwell time see these type of so they insert here there is a twist cam there is a dilator bag there is a catheter and the drain pack okay so what they do this machine drain the fluid out of the abdomen and into the drain and the waste bag and the excess waste and the fluid are removed from the body then fresh dialyzer is sent back into the peritoneum to clean the blood once more this filling and draining process is called as the exchange of a cycle so dextrose contain solution is infused into the peritoneal cavity and allow it to dwell for a set of set of period of the time so dextrose material from the dialyzer bag yahan pe they insert okay and it wo some time dete hai usko set hone ke liye okay after that from this catheter from to the drainage bag they remove okay to the connectivity and the diffuse clearance this is the peritoneal dialysis so kitne periods ke liye wo samay dete hai to dwell it also depend on person to person okay same way it varies from heat say temperature blood pressure of the patient how much the kidney is still functioning how much the weight of the patient so according to they allow to dwell for the set of period of the time now ये जो पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस है इसके भी टू टाइप्स है सो टू टाइप्स ऑफ पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस डन वन इज द सी ए पी डी दैट इज कंटिन्यूस एम्बुलेटरी पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस अनादर इज द सी सी पी डी दैट इज कंटिन्यूस साइक्लिक पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस ओके दिस यू कैन सी ये जो है ये जो मैंने आपको इमेज दिखाया है ओके दिस इज द सी ए पी डी सो कंटिन्यूस एम्बुलेटरी पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस so they can perform it when any clean and the convenient place also you can perform it in a opd basis you don't need a uh, so much uh, uh, what you called as the uh, machine or anything so you can do at a clean and the convenient places so the place bhi bahut kam lagti hai the manual exchange use a gravity to drain and use fluid out of the peritoneal cavity and replace it with a fresh fluid most of the cpd patient need to do the four bag exchange per day but yahan pe jo bag exchange rehta hai wo zyada lagta hai so for example see this patient is sitting so the dextrose content material go into the peritoneal cavity set for a some period and then it again go into the gravity with the gravitational force they drain into their drainage bag okay so that cpd that continuous ambulatory peritoneal process it can done manually without a machine okay c 
see in this image are you able to see yes ma'am so generally in a western country these procedure can be done at home also if there is a proper nurse or proper take care so they do at a home work or at a clean places okay so during cpd also patient are free to go about their normal activity while the dialysis solution dwell in their abdomen between the exchange so if the dialysis solutions ja raha hai tab the patient can read patient can walk okay patient can do their activity if patient has a home so this is a continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis okay another is the continuous cycling peritoneal dialysis so continuous cycling peritoneal dialysis it also called as the apd apd is the automated peritoneal dialysis it's a machine which called as an automated cycle perform it is 3 to 5 exchange at night while the patient is asleep the main difference between ccpd and the capd generally CAPD done at a morning level, okay, this procedure. But in CCPD, they generally go for at the night level, okay. The cycler automatically fills the abdomen with a dilated solution, allow it to dwell, and then drain it to the sterile drainage bag that is then discarded in the morning. Procedure is same, okay. There is no difference in the procedure, but only uh, machine level machine is different and the performing like capd done in the morning whereas ccpd done in the night so this give the patient more flexibility during the day but they must remain attached to the machine for 10 to 12 hours at night so also it take a long period during the night but in the morning they begin one exchange with a dwell time that lasts the entire day see this type of the machine they use it perform through a cycle machine and during the night when the patient is asleep so there is a heater bag there is a fluid meter there is solution supply and the pump so solution supply means the source material it goes into the peritoneal cavity and after some period of dwelling period they drain into this bag this is the drain line okay the advantages of this procedure is patient can perform this procedure at a night only so while sleeping also patient can sleep properly and also this uh, dialysis has been occurred but it very costly so currently there are over 26000 patient maintained on peritoneal dialysis so mortality rate have fallen over the past several years but the long term survival it remain poor with only 11% of the peritoneal dialysis patient survive past 10 year so even the mortality rate has fall but the survival long term survival it's still poor so capd and the ccpd have reverse period of the feed up as i say capd done at the night but the ccpd during the day so the patient on the peritoneal dialysis do well then even the residual, uh, residual kidney function peritoneal dialysis as i earlier said it done mainly in the developing country due to the lower expenses so the beneficial of the pd include there is fever negative side first of all aapko samajh mein aaya capd and the ccpd hello yes ma'am बाकी लोगों को समझ में आ रहा है या नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कंफ्यूज हो रहा है आप पूछ सकते हो क्वेश्चन व्हेन किडनी इज नॉट एबल टू फंक्शन प्रॉपरली जब किडनी फेल्यूर हो जाती है सो दैट डायलिसिस और द रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी इज द यही टू ऑप्शंस रहते हैं पेशेंट के पास Any confusion till now? Peritoneal dialysis या फिर hemodialysis में Yes, no. Uh, 
आकांक्षा ऋतुजा हेलो यस मैम या आई एम ऑडिबल नो नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम था सॉरी स्क्रीन दिख रही है सबको नो मैम नाउ अभी दिख रही है हाँ मैम दिख रही है ओके हाँ so we are at a peritoneal uh, dialyzer so uh, mainly advantages of peritoneal dialysis it must schedule dialysis into your daily routine so several day a week so it require the permanent catheter outside the body so runs the risk of the infection that is peritonitis is very common in cases of the peritoneal dialysis patient may gain weight or have a large waistline so it's very large people may need the extra therapy so need the ample of storage space in your home for the supply sets so it need the space in your bedroom for the equipment or the pd machine and required the responsibility and the detail training so uh, peritoneal dialysis it can done easily but there are the chances of the infection peritonitis hone ke zyada chances hote hai in cases of peritoneal dialysis so beneficial jo hai so there is fewer negative side such as nausea vomiting cramping and the weight gain which can provide the continuous therapy which act more like a natural kidney it can allow the fewer dietary restriction aapne dekhe hoge kuch patient ko continuously uh, catheter laga rehta hai some cases of chronic kidney failure so jo continuous catheter lage rehte that is nothing but the peritoneal dialysis so it can allow the fewer dietary restriction needle free treatment do not do not travel to the dialysis center for the treatment can do dialysis while sleeping also and patient can allow for the traveling also during the peritoneal dialysis complication peritonitis is very common there is the chance of infection tunnel infection we call that weight gain residual uremia then the hypoproteinemia or the hyperglycemia okay this is the dialysis okay another uh, another is the transplantation so transplantation of the human kidney so, this is one of the treatment where if the kidney is totally failed you can't do the dialysis also then the only option you have is the transplantation so the transplantation is the treatment of the choice in cases of the advanced uh, kidney failure it can be done from the deceased donor or the living donor living donor kidney have been better survival than the deceased donor so through the donor there has uh, no has increased demand excess supply carefully selection of the recipient and the donor necessary so nowadays if uh, there is a donor list donor list and the, there is the recipient uh, recipient list aap logo ne shayad dekha hoga movies mein wagaire jo dikhate hai so for even the kidney transplantation you have to wait लाइक अगर अभी किडनी फेलियर हुई एंड यू आर सेंग आई वॉन्ट अ किडनी फ्रॉम द डोनर यू डोंट गेट दैट यू हैव टू वेट इन द डोनर लिस्ट सो दैट समन कैन जो लिस्ट रहती है वो वन 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 आगे जाती रहती है सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू आर ब्लड ग्रुप अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर एज और द पर्सन जो डोनर दे रहा है उसके अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रांसप्लांटेशन होता है सो हाउ द रेसिपियन सिलेक्शन डन तो रेसिपियंट सिलेक्शन में सबसे पहले देखते हैं तो लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी ओके देन इवेल्युएशन करते हैं रिस्क फैक्टर और द बेनिफिशियल फैक्टर देन द एग्रेसिव अप्रोच टू द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ करेक्टेबल कोरोनरी आर्टरी डिसीज और प्रेजेंस ऑफ इंडोलेंस इन्फेक्शन लाइक एच आई वी हेपेटाइटिस बी सी ट्यूबरकोलॉसिस और द न्यूप्लॉजम मैचिंग ऑफ द ब्लड ग्रुप इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवन द एंटीजन एंड द एच डोनर सिलेक्शन donor can be resist or the living should be of the same ibo blood group so donor and the recipient should be at the same blood group and should be free from the malignant neoplasm disease hepatitis or the hiv and selective renal angiography of the donor 
so this is the renal transplant therapy they done okay so these are the different treatment more we go for the kidney disorder okay any confusion any questions no ma'am okay सबको प्रॉपरली समझ में आया है डायलिसिस आई विल नॉट रिपीट इन द व्हेन वी लर्न अबाउट द किडनी फेलियर ओके अगर नहीं समझ में आया तो प्लीज आस्क सबको समझ में आया प्रॉपरली किसी ने देखा है डायलिसिस होते समय किसी पेशेंट को या फिर डायलिसिस सेंटर एनीवन नो नो आई विल सजेस्ट यू ऑल कि कोई भी अगर घर के पास कोई हॉस्पिटल होगा ओके जो जहां पे डायलिसिस होता होगा सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू गो देयर एंड जस्ट सी कि हाउ दे डू आपसे आप परमिशन की अगर हम लोगों को सिर्फ एक डायलिसिस देखना है कि कैसे करते हो क्या करते हो करके जस्ट सी दैट ट्राई टू डू दैट अगर घर के पास कोई हॉस्पिटल तो होगा सबके यस और नो यस मैम ओके सो ट्राई टू डू दैट कि जाके वहां पे डायलिसिस देखो ओके and tell me about your experience then okay so i'm ending session here okay yeah have a good day same to you ma'am